If you're new to Resolve and you're watching all these Resolve tutorials on YouTube, you notice that everybody's workspace looks a little bit different. So welcome back to Creator Reality, my friend. I'm John and today I'm going to show you just how you can load and save and customize some of the workspace stuff in DaVinci Resolve. So let's dive into DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Here I am in Resolve and I've got my window open here and it's full screen. Well, the first thing is I have selected full screen window. So there is no taskbar, nothing cluttering up my editing workflow, right? Well, the next thing you notice is that I don't have labels down here at the bottom and I don't have all the icons. If you come up to the workspace menu, you can switch to page and you can go to all these different pages with the shift number keys, okay? So if you're saying that you don't have a page in Resolve, something happened, something changed, and it became invisible. But now you can switch to that page. Let's make sure that what should be visible is. That's in the next one under show page. You'll see that I have media and cut page hidden away because I don't use them. I don't. I use edit, fusion, color, fairlight, and deliver, and that's it. That's all I use. I also have the show page navigation, which is this menu at the bottom. If I click it, it goes away. If I click it again, it comes back. Magic! Anyway, <laughs> so one of the other big things, I mentioned the full screen window is layout presets. And I've got a John preset because I'm John, I, I want my own preset. And I can load it, I can update it, I can export it, I can delete it. But if you find yourself customizing the UI, and that includes things like seeing this icon here and dragging up and down to show more in your viewer, or clicking inspector to show two viewers, or clicking the inspector back on, and you can expand and contract your bins on the left here, as well as the contents of the bins. And you can change the columns of this window by right-clicking and selecting any number of different columns, all the data you might ever want to see. And then you have a button up here in the upper left-hand corner that will bring this bin area to take up the entire vertical left side of your screen. And on the right side, we also have a button that expands your inspector. And if that's what you like, that's what you like, but then your timeline is gonna be small. There's a myriad of changes you can make to the UI in Resolve. Just click on random buttons. Now to save your workspace preset, all we have to do is come up to workspace, layout presets, and then save layout as preset. It gives you this screen, you can type in a name for it, click OK, and then when you come back to the workspace menu and layout presets, It'll be right there, and we can load it, or update it, or export it, or delete it. And since I don't need it, I'm going to delete it. Yes, I want to delete it. Then, when you're done, come back over here, and under Workspace, we can come down to Reset UI Layout. And then, of course, I'm going to do full screen window again. Voila! Now, it's reset. It's back to standard. This is probably what yours looks like but it doesn't show me the things that I want to see. And every editor is different, so it behooves you to set a preset for yourself. So going up to Workspace and coming down to our Layout Presets, I can click on John and then Load Preset, and we're back, back to my happy place. Isn't that nice? That is nice. But I did mention one other thing, and that was labels. And that one's not hidden in that workspace menu. If you come down to this taskbar-ish like area of Resolve, and you right-click, show icons and labels, now they, they show the labels, right? Well, once you've used the program a few times, you know what those little icons mean. You know which one is edit and fairlight and color, etc. So to get a little bit more workspace, you can right-click and show icons only. Pretty cool, right? Pretty quick tip today. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you learned and can customize the UI and Resolve to your liking. If you enjoyed this video, boop the like button. Maybe you'll consider subscribing. Maybe you'll ask a question in the comments below, like the viewer that asked why their color page was invisible. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. And until next time, go check out this video that YouTube thinks you'll like. It's one of mine. You're bound to learn something. John out.